So welcome everyone to Zinc Daily Vlogs. We're so excited to bring this to you on a daily basis and just our information uh, that we've had kind of stuck in our heads and now we're able to get out. So we're so excited for you to join us in today's episode. Hello again, everyone. Uh, my name is George Zink, and I'm with my partner here, Ben Zink. And we are obviously bringing you a daily vlog that we are just trying to get you to understand where we're coming from. We have so much knowledge uh, on the tennis court that we've learned over the last 25 years for me, 30 years for me, and a little less for you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we just hope that you guys are enjoying this and uh, look, give us your feedback on, on YouTube and on our Facebook page. We just love to hear from you. So today we decided to uh, kind of go a little bit more into the mental aspect of the game and, and what the game of tennis has taught us uh, personally and what we feel it shares with our students. So uh, George wrote an amazing book called The Process. Uh, it's on our website and we'd love for you to download it, but, um, but we're just gonna talk about it and kind of see where it goes from here. So um, we obviously have talked a lot about the process and, and what it means, but I would ask George what it means to him. Thanks. Um, you know, the process to me is really about the journey. The, the journey is so important. I uh, work with so many juniors that I don't think that what happens is they get caught up in the rankings and get caught up in the everyday that sometimes they don't enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. And one of the philosophies I know that you and I have been is just really trying to enjoy that journey along the way. And we always talk about forward progress um, is, is process, right? Is, is, is forward, forward uh, thinking is always the process. And I think that's a huge piece of this whole thing. So just really trying to sit back and enjoy the process and not make it, you know, we always have these lists on every day and we're thinking about, you know, what we have to get done or, you know, my forehand has to get better or I got to get better conditioning and we feel all this pressure, but sometimes we don't look at it at 10,000 feet and say, man, you know, I'm so lucky to be a part of this game. I'm so mm -hmm. lucky to be in a situation where, you know, I am ranked or I'm highly ranked in Florida or, you know, wherever you are. I'm, I'm, I'm number five on my high school team, whatever that means, but to really enjoy uh, the journey of this whole thing. And I think that's where the, the name of my book came from. It, it was just really important that I get that out there, that people start enjoying, instead of looking always result oriented, is look at it as let's let's enjoy the journey along the way. Yeah, I feel like this, the same thing is uh, everybody's looking for that destination when they're really when you're playing tennis, it's not really that end result. You're always going to keep playing and keep striving. So if so you're not enjo enjoying the journey, it's, it's a tough one. So, true. Um, so the, one of the biggest life lessons we feel that like we've talked about is passion. Can you share a little bit about what you feel passion really means when you're playing tennis? Uh, yeah. So I think that if you had to, if you had to put a tagline on what you and I do, mm -hmm. um, and what you know, kids get out of working with you and I mm -hmm. is that I don't think you can be on the court with us mm -hmm. uh, without feeling our passion. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, it's it what it's what ignites us to get out of bed in the morning. You know, it's what mm -hmm. puts us, you know, to, to to take that next step in the morning. And I think passion, when you're doing something out of passion, obviously it doesn't feel like work. You know, when I was growing up, I you know, started playing tennis and everybody said, well, how did you get excited about tennis and why was it part of, you know, your life? And, mm -hmm. and I always come back to, you know, I just remember starting hitting a tennis ball and that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to hit more tennis balls, more tennis mm -hmm. balls. And the more I hit, you know, the better I felt. And I just loved that feeling of hitting a tennis ball. And I know, mm -hmm. you know, you could probably talk a little bit about that. I know you were the same, you know, you just yeah. started playing and all of a sudden it was, Bam! You know you wanted to keep playing more. Absolutely, and the more you the more you do it, the, the more you want to keep doing it. And I think that that's the biggest thing is, is feeling that every day that your life wants to revolve around that is super important, and that's where the the love of the game comes from, and, and where you learn for sure. So so true. Like yeah, just that I think if we could say anything to the kids out there and the parents out there is you know find something that you love and, and love to do and, and, and be all in with it. And I think mm -hmm. if you do that, it just goes so far. It's just, you know, get up in the morning and be fired up about what you do. Absolutely, absolutely. 
And, uh, you know, going along the lines of passion, I think the other thing that kind of really helps other kids is is the care level along with that. And that's another life lesson you put in your book is is care. And what is that? How does that show up as a kid's playing? What, how do you know if they care or not? Yeah. So caring, um, caring is a one thing. I think, I don't know if you heard my son the other day on his um, interview, but he was talking about being kind and nice. What he looks for in a coach is being kind and nice. And, you know, he kind of came up with that term on his own and, and it really kind of set something inside me. But, you know, if he was looking for a coach that was kind and nice, you know, what was really behind that, right? Mm -hmm. What was behind that? What was behind that was the person caring. And I think as teachers uh, mm -hmm. that the student has to feel it from us. Yep. But I also think in return uh, that we have to feel that from the student. If we right. don't, if we don't feel that that if we don't feel that from the student, the caring from them, mm -hmm. then what happens to uh, teachers is that uh, we end up not giving them all the knowledge that we have. Right. There's this shutdown of communication. Yeah. So I think that when somebody you know cares about us and you can mm -hmm. feel that caring and and you know whether you call it love, whatever you call it, it's it's just something that's special. Mm -hmm. And I think that not enough kids, you know. You know, especially when we just, if we keep it on the sport of tennis, mm -hmm. that people, it's winning everything, losing mm -hmm. horrible, right? And, and you know, if I care about my student and, I, and, and you know, I'm not going to let it be result driven. I'm going to mm -hmm. be, let it progress driven. You know, mm -hmm. progress, it, you know, is what we're looking for. Not, we're not looking for each and every day to just be about results. Right. And, and, and to me, that's where the caring part comes in. And the other thing is, is feeling about where other people are coming from. So if I'm working mm -hmm. with a kid and he's, you know, struggling with his, you know, backhand, okay? Mm -hmm. And he can't can't seem to get it. You know, one of the things is that I can put myself in his situation and say, you know, I remember struggling with my backhand and mm -hmm. and, and that kid feeling that I understand where he's coming from mm -hmm. is gigantic. You know, just and, and just that care level of of understanding and right. understanding where the person's coming from. Awesome. Thank you. Well, Thank you for joining us today. We've really appreciated you spending your time with us. We've loved sharing this information with you. Uh, check back tomorrow again for another episode of our daily vlog. Thank you, George. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Ben. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone.